Now I'm going to introduce to you all the formulas on circular measure. First, I'm going to start with the arc length. So what is the arc length? This is the arc length for this sector. The arc length formula S equal to R theta. So when you're using the S equal to R theta, S represent the arc length, R is the radius, and make sure that your theta is in radian. The second formula is area of a sector. This is the area of the sector. Area of the sector is given by A equal to half R square theta. R is the radius. Again, your theta must be in radian. Now I move to the third formula. That is the area of triangle. The area of triangle here is given by the formula A equal to half A, B sine theta. Since your A and B is equal to the radius R, therefore the formula become half R times R sine theta, which is equal to half R square sine theta. So this three formula, that is the arc length, S square R theta, the area sector, half R square theta, and the area triangle, half R square sine theta, is very common in the exam. Make sure you know the formula well. Now I'm going to show you the fourth formula that is called the area of segment. Remember, this is called a segment. So area segment equal to the area of the sector, which is given by half R square theta minus the area triangle that is half R square sine theta. If you factorize it, you have half R square theta minus sine theta. So one important thing here that is this theta here is in radian. But this theta, the sine theta, will be in degree. Make sure that you can change the radian to degree very fast. For example, here you have radian and degree. To change the angle from radian to degree, you have to times 180 degree divided by pi. To change the degree back to radian, you have to times pi over 180 degree. For example, if you have 1.12 radian, to change it to degree, you are using 1.12 times 180 over pi. This will give you answer 64.16 degree. So if you have 64 degree, you want to change it to radian, you have to times pi over 180. This will give you 1.117 radian. So remember, to find the area segment, you're using half R square bracket theta minus sine theta. This theta here is in radian, where your sine theta, the theta should be in degree. So the last one, I'm going to show you how to find the length of chord. The formula is given by L equal to 2R sine theta over 2. This is the chord length. Look at this triangle here. This triangle is extract from this triangle here. So if I cut this angle into half, this angle will be theta over 2. And then this will be your radius of the circle. So I want to find the length of x here. Given that this angle is theta over 2, x should be the opposite and r is the hypotenuse. So using sine theta over 2 equal to opposite x over the hypotenuse r, my x equal to r sine theta over 2. The chord length l equal to 2x. This equal to 2 x is r sine theta over 2. 
So remember for this formula, your theta is also in degree. So now you have all the five formula. The first formula is the arc length given by S equal to R theta. Your theta is in radian. The second formula is area of the sector, A equal to half R squared theta, theta also in radian. The third formula is the area of triangle, half R squared sine theta. This theta should be in degree. The fourth formula is the area of segment, half R squared, theta minus sine theta. This theta in radian and in the sine theta, the theta is in degree. The last formula is the length of chords. That is L equal to 2R sine theta over 2. The theta should be in degree. So remember, every time you have sine theta, the angle should be in degree. For others, theta, the angle is in radian.